Welcome back to another OMLAB tutorial. Today is going to be a quick one. We're going to be taking a look at channel strips and one more way that you can work smarter and not harder. All right. Um, now, uh, you do, you obviously do not need Logic Pro to be following along with this tutorial. All, all DAWs these days allow you to save uh, channel strip settings or presets. Um, but it is very important uh, to understand exactly how these things are being saved and um, how they work, okay? Because uh, nine times out of 10, your DAW is gonna treat uh, the different types of channel strips um, uh, independently. So in other words, uh, it depends upon which object you're saving your channel strip from um, in how it's actually going to be stored on your machine and how you're going to navigate to it again in the future to use it again, okay? So without further ado, we'll just run through the few different scenarios that you'll encounter um, on your own. So here is a software track, okay? Now, uh, normally what we would do with a software track is first we would probably add an instrument, okay? So we'll just add a random instrument here. Um, and let's say we dialed in the sound that's just absolutely perfect, and then we added um, several very unique... Um, uh, plugins that took us quite a while to um, just get the perfect balance on. And we know that this is something that's so great that we're going to want to use it again and again in future projects. So uh, instead of trying to remember how to do it or saving individual presets in each one of your plugins and your synth, uh, instead what you can do is just save a quick channel strip and it will save all of that stuff for you. Okay. Uh, so in Logic, it's just as simple as clicking on the setting button here and uh, save channel strip as. Now, I'll mention this one time really quick. Uh, moving forward, you'll see this option again. Save as performance is, is relating to um, allowing this channel strip to now be accessed by a program like MainStage or something that's used to manage your live performances uh, on stage. Okay, so but what we're really concerned about in this lesson is the channel strip settings or presets as they're most commonly called so we'll just say save channel strip setting as and um, since this was with the retro synth um, we'll just call this uh, retro awesome how about that now you can see that this is saved uh, for logic anyway it's saved within your main user directory under audio music apps and then channel strip settings and now you'll also notice that this is being saved under instrument um, and that there are folders inside of here. Uh, now, that means that you can obviously uh, organize and manage many, many presets, uh, and they won't spin wildly out of control. <laughs> because, again, you can organize by folder, which is really, really great. Um, call them what you want, move them where you want. Uh, now, you'll notice also that there's a separate spot for bus, instrument, master, output, and track. Okay, so we're going to get to that. So we're going to save this as Retro Awesome and it shuts down. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just reset this channel strip. Now, let's say instead uh, what we want to do with this brand new track that we just added is instead of getting caught up in managing all of the settings or creating something from scratch, we're just going to grab something that we've created before as a good template uh, strip. Or or maybe it's a, it's a good jumping off point um, for the type of project that we're working on. Regardless, you can pull that up through the same exact spot, okay? Uh, so they're just going to show up right here, and we'll just pull up this one that says Alchemy Example. I just created this right before this, uh, uh, this lesson, and this basically just has a synth loaded and um, an EQ and a compressor and a preset already loaded, okay? And you can hear that it's this arpeggiated patch. It probably took some time to program. Um, you know, the, the EQ and compression were dialed in specifically for that. And now all you have to do is tweak it slightly for whatever project you're working on. All right, so let's move beyond the software instruments and take a look at audio, okay? So audio strips are gonna have their own uh, bank of channel strips. Okay, so um, again, you can go ahead and start adding plugins and listen back to your, your track and get everything dialed in specifically, uh, or you can uh, load up one that you have saved already. Now, let's say, for instance, that you use a guitar rig or some kind of um, rack-based processing plugin uh, that can take a long time to dial in a bunch of settings because it's a bunch of plugins in one, basically. Uh, so what you can do 
is uh, add add even a couple more. Maybe your your EQ and compressor are always right ahead of guitar rig. Um, so dial it in the way that you really like it, or at least as a good starting point template, and save it. Okay, and again, uh, you're just going to save as, and uh, and again, you'll see that this now is being saved in the track uh, folder here inside of Logic, and you can see that there are other um, presets that I've saved in here before. Okay, um, now you saw that there were uh, options for output as well as bus. Um, here's an example of. Uh, supposed to be an example. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make one. I thought I had saved one in here, but I guess I had not. So we'll just go ahead and do this really quick. Um, let's say that you always have EQ, compressor, um, and most likely probably some kind of multimeter action. So you can be monitoring uh, a few things in your project and uh, save that as just like a basic, basic um, uh, output. Uh, of course, you would want to uh, dial in some of the parameters probably to make this a little bit more worthwhile, um, but, it, but it is also helpful just to have plugins loaded. Now, um, you, you can also uh, rest assured that, that the, uh, the individual parameters inside each of the plugins on a channel strip are also going to be maintained, including uh, bypass, okay? So whether or not... Uh, a plugin is toggled on or off by default when a patch is loaded. So every single bit about the settings and parameters of all of the plugins involved on your channel strip are saved in one nice little package. No more saving dozens of presets and then trying to find them all, trying to remember what order you had them all loaded in in your signal flow. None of that. Just work smarter, not harder, and save and use channel strip presets. All right. Uh, hope this one um, opened your eyes to something new uh, for those who had never heard of it before. Um, and maybe if you already knew about it, maybe you didn't know something small, like you can uh, organize stuff by folders. Who knows? Hope you got something out of it either way. Um, always great to see you here, folks. Thanks again for the support as always. Um, and please be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of this tutorial and perhaps what you'd like to see as a future tutorial. Thanks again, everyone. We will see you again very soon. Cheers.